guys, so Valentine's Day is coming up and I know a lot of you are going to be trying out the whole eyeliner looks. Hopefully this can help you and here's how I do my eyeliner with a gel, felt tip, liquid, and pencil eyeliner. If you're just starting to use eyeliner, you may want to use gel liner first because that is the easiest because you have more control. I'm using Maybelline gel eyeliner in the color charcoal and I dip my brush in the gel and I make sure I flatten out both sides so it's very thin. I just want to put this out there too just in case you guys don't know, this isn't an eyeliner tutorial, this is just to teach you how to use different types of eyeliners to make it easier for yourself when you do put an eyeliner. When I use a gel eyeliner, I like to do my wing first so then I can have a clear picture of how thick or thin I want my upper line to be. So the way I do this is I keep the brush sideways so it's not on the flat side, it's sideways so then it will be a lot thinner when I draw my line and I just really do what I'm doing right now, just draw a line and I make it thicker if I want it thicker. As you may have noticed by now, I keep my eyes open when I put on my eyeliner so then I can see if the line looks good or not. And then I also stretch my eyes like, you know, wrinkle up my forehead so it will be easier to apply. Felt tip is definitely not my favorite type of eyeliner to put on, but here I'm using Milani. If your felt tip is really bad like mine, go ahead and just push out the ink so then the tip can have some ink too. And I lined the top first so then it will make it easier when I do my wing. I don't know why, but I find it the easiest when I line the top first and then I'll go ahead and wing it out. I'm sorry for the bad camera angle here, but go ahead and wing it out using the tip of the brush. The tip. Remember that. The tip. And then go ahead and draw your triangle, fill it in, thicken the line. And when you're doing your eyeliner with the felt tip, make sure you try to hold the eye taut so it doesn't move or also get wrinkles and it wouldn't look as pretty. I always find it helpful when using a felt tip eyeliner brush to push it to your lash line instead of drag it or else then you'll definitely get wrinkles. For the liquid eyeliner, this is personally my favorite one to do except I'm using this L'Oreal liquid eyeliner which doesn't really have a good tip. But, when I do my liquid eyeliner, I like to start out by drawing the wing and drawing a triangle. Just kind of flick it out to make that sharp point. Now I'm just lining my upper line. The way to do this with an uh, eyeliner brush that's liquid is to do shorter strokes and go very, very slowly. If you do this, you're probably not going to make as much mistakes, but try to change your hand positions so then you can go into the inner corner and outer corner and it'll make it a lot more easier. And then here, I made a little bump here, as you can see. I made a little tiny mistake for you. And I did this to show you that liquid eyeliner can be really forgiving. So just kind of thicken out the line and it'll look as good as new. To pencil eyeliners. Now, pencil eyeliners are really good to use, but it is kind of a little harder to put on. So make sure you warm it up on the back of your hand. And when I'm doing pencil eyeliner, I like to start with the wing first and then I kind of drag it over. <laughs> you see how I'm dragging it? Um, yeah, so I make my little line, then I drag it to my eye, and I let the pencil do all the work, and then I gradually thicken it by using the side of the pencil. So I have some tips for you guys. I hope this helps you out even more if you need help in that department. 
Honestly, eyeliner just takes a lot of practice and it's different for each person, but I found these tips kind of helpful. But you know, when in doubt and you can't get your eyeliner out, it's just best to go all natural and use your natural eyes because they're the prettiest things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my Facebook page and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!